All right, guys, how is it going? It's yours truly. We're going to be talking about this super dope quad rail from Midwest Industries. This has been around for a while. Um, these quad rails, I don't want to say are going the way of the Dodo, but uh, they're not as common as they once were, um, simply because they're generally kind of heavier than a lot of the M-Lock or key mod stuff that's out there, uh, handguard-wise. But uh, Midwest Industry makes some really high-quality products, and despite this having uh, Picatinny rails all around, um, it's still incredibly lightweight. You know, I have this uh, thing, you know, if you have an issue with weight on your rifle, you got to go to the gym. You got to go get a Gold's membership, Lifetime Fitness, whatever, because you sound like a pussy. So weight isn't an issue for me because I'm not a wimpy type guy. Uh, but just know that this is generally going to lean more towards the heavier side uh, when it comes to these full length, uh, you know, 15 inch uh, hand guards. But they did a really great job of reducing the rate. So they have these little, uh, these cutouts, these little circles all throughout. And then if we look on the inside, I mean, these are, it's practically hollowed out right here on the sides right here and right here now installation of this thing is fascinating and incredibly easy of course the instructions are so easy it's only text based uh, I don't know where they went I don't need them anyways but um, oh here they are the instructions are so easy it's all text based I, I, I know how to install these so it's not a big deal but this is it just one sheet you know you do this you do this you do this and you're done uh, that's essentially it uh, however, I'm going to add a little bit of extra steps throughout the way uh, just because, you know, I'm, I like to build my things a little bit better than most. Um, you know, I'm not saying I'm perfect or I know what's best, but I have my own way of doing things. Other people have their way of doing things, and that's that. I'd be more than happy to engage in a friendly and cordial conversation about it, but I'm not going to get into a fight. Uh, so uh, what I'm doing here is I'm just, I've added uh, these little Picatinny uh what's it called uh hand guards or not hand guards uh these little uh rail covers from magpul it's the little clip clip on ones very sturdy but all and, and really hard but very comfortable uh with, with just your bare hands and of course we have the magpul angled grip uh right there at the bottom and of course we have plenty of real estate all throughout uh, this handguard to add uh, pressure pads, add lights, maybe a laser, and uh, you know we even got room for a bipod. But then again, uh, all that stuff is getting a little too tactical, <coughs> tactical for my taste. Uh, one of the neat features of this handguard is right here, the the side that presses up against the upper receiver. We have these anti-rotational tabs on both ends here. This is gonna marry beautifully with your upper receiver. Um, this should work with almost maybe 99.9% .9 of forged receivers. I can't say the same for billet because of the way that billet uh, uppers and lowers are made. They're, they're all funky and like super decked out and Gucci'd out and you know, they look like, you know, some Star Wars type rifle and uh, you never know what's gonna work and what's not gonna work. Just because it's not up to mil spec standards, it's uh, you know, you got these funky designs, you know, a lot of them look really fucking dumb, like like the ones with the uh, you know, the Spartan bullshit, like it's just cringy. I don't know why you would want that. It's just ugh. All right, so what comes with this? Well, you're obviously going to get the tools necessary to install it. This is going to uh, tighten up the castle nut, and this is to tighten up the little uh, screws that go underneath here that pinch the that pinch this right here uh right where i'm uh where my thumb is and uh yeah this isn't gonna go anywhere this isn't gonna go anywhere so let's just go ahead and install it it's gonna be so easy i'm not gonna show you the the barrel nut stuff because i have a light and shit on there already but uh you know essentially you're gonna get your torque wrench um attach it to this tool set it to 40 foot pounds these little teeth are gonna grab onto the castle nut. You, you, you know, you, you fucking he-man it. Use your strength, and then once you hear the clicks, you're done. And that's it. You don't have to. There's no indexing. There's no, you know, alignments. No nothing. Once you do the, oh, and also if you're doing this on a new build, don't forget to season the thread. So I did all the boring shit. Um, and uh, yeah, you know, there's plenty of videos where this is installed. I'm just gonna do this pretty quickly because uh, yeah, why not? There's no need. So one of the things. One of the first things I like to do is, of course, I'm going to get my indispensable super tech grease. I'm actually, well, once I'm done with this grease, I'm, which I'm probably never going to be done with it because grease lasts forever. Uh, I'll probably uh, switch over to something a little bit more high end. So I'm going to go ahead and put super tech grease all around the barrel nut. 
you uh, you generally always want to do this unless uh, you got like a weird barrel nut where it's just not uh, where it's not necessary but generally for me for the products that I use it's more than necessary it's mandatory there's all towards there's all types of grease barrel thread grease blah 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 I just use super tech grease it's more than enough it's perfect I mean there's a lot of companies that like to you know upsell you know they like to uh, include all this nonsense that you don't need and I'm just like why dude why would you waste your money on all that shit so yeah I mean this is super easy guys super easy this is gonna marry nicely it's gonna look like one piece like looking at my monitor right now because I've been like the, the battery just keeps dying I don't know why it's really upsetting all right it should be good enough for me let's go ahead and put the super tech grease away I will wipe off any excess so all you got to do is guide this over the barrel what that was all right so this is what we got we got excess grease that's to be expected no big deal no big deal let's go ahead and wipe that off you know so we don't forget Yeah, there's a lot of real estate on this, man. There's a lot of real estate on this. I like it. I'm probably going to have to take off the uh, the lower receiver just to wipe off all the excess uh, grease. And for the most part, I did a pretty... This, this, went, this came out pretty well. You know, the excess grease, it's supposed to come out like this. It's bleeding jello! Ah! Sorry, I'm being silly. I'm in a good mood. It's been a few good weeks. And it was a good day. It's a beautiful day. Every day I'm alive is a great day, you know? I'm always thankful to God that I live a clean, clean life, an easy life. Oh, don't mind my dogs are being rambunctious. What are you doing, popcorn? What are you doing, girl? What are you doing, smelly girl? I got my smelly bear with me right here. Alright, so this is uh this is pretty much pretty much there. Let's wrap this up real quick. So off camera, I had uh, these two screws. I like to do this. So I had these screws right here. These were included in the, uh, with, with, the, with the product. So what I did was I sprayed them with a little bit of frog lube, super degreaser. So what I wanna do is I wanna have these threads cleaned. I want them real clean, you know, no, no nonsense. Here, let me see if I can get a hex to make this a little bit easier. Okay, here we go. Yeah. So I, uh, so I got some degreaser. Now you're probably wondering why would you get degreaser on these, uh, on these threads? Well, that's an excellent question. And the answer is because I'm going to use blue strength or uh, medium strength Thread locker. Uh, I love to use Permatex. They get a glowing endorsement from myself. And I like the Permatex uh, thread locker because it's removable with hand tools. That's that's important. So with um, so with my scope rings, I you and optic rings, I like to use um, you know removable thread locker. Uh, that's that's more uh, you know. Uh, like light strength. Uh, let me see what the uh, the exact verbiage is used on these bottles of thread locker. So this is removable strength. 
Uh, I'm not really sure what that means. Uh, this one right here is not considered removable strength. It just states that it's removable by hand tools, but it's on there pretty good. So you want removable strength for you know your optics, your scope mounts, etc. You want medium medium strength for um you know for like hand guards and stuff and anything around and then like the uh what's it called your uh gas blocks and whatnot i like to use a uh, red loctite red high heat strength all right so we cleaned up these threads here now we got to get this little uh this little uh this piece here and it just slides right in just like that very very easy you want to look down and verify that it's aligned properly. Get a little bit of your thread locker. Let's go ahead and uh, get this sucker all gooey. You don't need to put that much. Thread locker works excellent. The reason why you want to use thread locker, well, it does what the title says. It locks the thread in there. Well, when you fire a weapon, it's incredibly violent. The entire weapon shakes and vibrates and does all this crazy stuff behind the scenes. And, um, you know, sometimes threads pop out. And then you, you know, you're out in the field, you're out at the range with your buddies having a good time. And then you get home, you're cleaning your gun up. And then you're like, oh my gosh, I'm missing a thread. What the heck? You know, so that's why you get a uh, thread locker, guys. That's what the thread locker's for. Popcorn Bear, calm down. What are you doing? She's making a mess. She's, she's up to no good. I'm sure of it. All right, so this is it. This is the last one, and then we are finished installing. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. That is how you install this Midwest Industries uh, quad rail. This is the T series, 15 inches in length. And uh, you know, before you fire this weapon, you want to go ahead and wait. Uh, I don't know, 24 hours, 48 to be real safe. And uh, yeah, man, you're pretty much done. That, that's it. That's all it takes to install this, um, you know, this handguard. In my estimation, it is bomb proof, man. This is bomb proof. It's, it's on there real good. I'm, oh, I'm shaking it violently and it's not fucking moving at all. It's designed not to. This is excellent, man. This is excellent. I absolutely love it. Midwest Industries makes high quality products. I have a lot of Midwest Industry products already and uh, on my guns. Um, you know, I always give them a glowing endorsement and people who are building or people who I'm helping to build and they ask me to steer them in the right direction. You know, a lot of times I'll steer them towards Midwest industry if it's within their budget, man. If it's within their budget, that's what I'm going to recommend because they, they make excellent products, man. Really cool stuff. Very easy to install. Very easy to install. This probably would have taken me less than five minutes if I wasn't really, if I wasn't recording this and doing all my prep work and stuff because it really is that quickly. So this is the gun for the most part. Uh, it's been featured in multiple videos already and uh, Yeah, man more to come more to come I'm probably gonna just do a video on this on this guy and talk about it. This is my my escape from Walmart build <laughs> That's what I call escape from Tarkov. I don't know if you guys played that game I uninstalled it because I think it's shitty. All right guys, so that is all I have for today I hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions about this rail or anything else about this build uh, Just feel free to leave a comment. Don't forget to like comment subscribe all that shit and uh, I am one of the few and only content creators that does firearm content on library.com, minds.com, and BitChute. I am on alt tech, and I am uh, an advocate for free speech and guns and God and all that good stuff. I'm a proud patriot, and I uh, hate globalists. So uh, feel free to subscribe if our ideologies align and all that good stuff. So yeah, have a good night. Have a good day. God bless. Peace.